Welcome back to the Why Not 3 daily show where in less than 3 minutes I'll share a tip worth doing or a story worth sharing. And let's just start with the first story and the first story of today is a productivity formula. Because one of the most common questions that I get is how do you fix procrastination? It's actually a story that I want to share because I suffered a lot from procrastination when I was studying. I was studying in one of the most competitive law schools in Europe and of course you sit there and I probably watched all of the top gear TV shows. I watched House, I watched The Flash and all these things. I mean I'm still an inner geek. but. This procrastination was horrible and I wanted to figure it out and I read books about it because obviously when you procrastinate from law books you read other books. But eventually I ended up being at a conference where I realized how my procrastination worked and maybe it can help you. So my procrastination kind of got linked to me not living my passion. Now what do I mean with that? There's a difference between passion and your core code, your why, why you do what you do, which is the reason why last week in the work-life balance books, I described Simon Sinek's book as a work-life balance book, even though it's more of a wealth book. But now in productivity, it starts coming together. Because how do you know whether you are living who you are? It's by knowing your why. When I was studying law, I knew that it wasn't going to take me, eventually I realized it wasn't going to take me to where I wanted to be in life. Because my why is to become the best I can be, which means I want to be really efficient as to the things that I do over time to create a high impact for you and for me at the same time. Something that is lasting, something that is more powerful than me sitting in a workshop and helping 10 people, even though that feeds me as well. That makes me become better at this kind of thing. So when I realized that what I was doing wasn't part of my why, it started slowly going down. Every time I would procrastinate, every time it would get harder, every time I thought I was getting smarter, it would get even tougher. And so that simple story made me realize that whenever I go into business, whenever I start a certain business, it needs to be aligned to some of the things that I do in my two main companies, which is Why Not 3 and the other uh, marketing agency that I have. So it needs to be aligned to the two main companies that I have. If it's not aligned and we have to make a choice whether we invest or not, whether we take on the client or not, there's a big chance I might say no to a client because I know I'm going to start procrastinating and that's not fair towards the client or towards me. And that's how I figured over time that procrastination is actually a symptom of something that you actually should not be doing. However, if you are going to do the activity anyways, just like I was stuck with law school and I ended up graduating anyways, then in the next videos we're going to go deeper into techniques and little biohacks that I used to do to actually get to a point where I could graduate and found my businesses at the same time. Even though if I'm really honest, the procrastination time was partially how I built my business. Hope you enjoyed that. If you really like this video, share it with a friend, like the button below, and yeah, comment if you have a question. But most importantly, I discuss way more stuff in the 30 day challenge, which is free to so sign up and I'll see you inside where I describe more of my stories. And I'll see you for now in the next video. If you like this episode and you're interested in more tips and tricks on improving your health, wealth, and relationships, then click this little box and we'll get you started on our free 30-day challenge where you get the behind the scenes of some of my speeches and day-to-day -day clients.